Following on pretty appropriately from yesterday's piece of Gran Turismo related news, which I dropped here on the channel as well, which for those who didn't see it was the confirmation that the Toyota GR86 is coming to GT Sport very soon, so check out that brief video if you haven't already, this one is much more significant, potentially, to the future of Gran Turismo instead. And although this is not by any stretch a confirmation, it is an interesting insight, you could say, into some of the behind-the-scenes discussions and development that could be going on, doubtless is still going on, when it comes to the PS5, and of course when it comes to us here on the channel, GT7 in particular. And it came from the PlayStation blog on the 2nd of this month, and according to Herman Holst, who was interviewed, he actually mentioned Gran Turismo 7 somewhat specifically, because he was asked, how does the PlayStation 4 factor into the development for the PlayStation 5? So are they going to leave it behind? Is it still going to be developed as far as newer games? We already know that some games are going to be carried over between both, such as Test Drive Unlimited 3 Solar Crown, but for Gran Turismo 7, Pretty much everything that was more concrete that we'd seen seemed to gear towards just PS5, and one of the most common questions I have is from people who don't follow this stuff asking, is it going to be on PS4 as well? Well, to somewhat answer that, we have an interesting quote from Herman, and he says, Where it makes sense to develop a title for both PS4 and PS5, for Horizon Forbidden West, The Next God of War, GT7, We'll continue looking at that. So, in other words, end quote, of course. So, in other words, it's not confirmed, but it is possible. Now, that is both a good and a bad thing, potentially, depending on who you are and how you look at it. Because it's a great thing, of course, for many people, especially, for instance, kids who maybe have to save up their own pocket money to buy a console rather than their parents getting it for them. Maybe they just don't have money to blow on a console for the sake of one game, etc. Well, having it on a PS4 which you may already own, could be a huge advantage if you don't necessarily care about having the latest console. However, the downside is fairly obvious, and that is that stuff like ray tracing, the updated uh, abilities of the PS5's controller, and how that will factor into the experience of playing GT7, stuff like that will not apply on a PS4. So in some ways, if this does occur, it will probably end up being a little bit like what happened with Test Drive Unlimited 1. Because that game was on the Xbox, the PlayStation, the PC, even the PSP, and if you compare the differences between all the different versions, it was even on the PS2 as well as the newer consoles at the time, there was a massive difference between the two. It was the same skeleton of the game, but a lot of stuff wasn't in, for instance, the PS2, PSP versions. The other versions on the newer consoles were far more advanced, far better graphics, far better physics. You could do more with the game, do more in the game. So if that happens again, you will definitely see and feel a difference between GT7 on a PS4 and GT7 on a PS5. This would not be at all like having GT Sport on a PS5, because that, of course, moving forward into a new console, has all the advantages it could ever want. Upscaling, in effect. This is the opposite. So, in other words, as I said, there are definitely some very significant social advantages, but some disadvantages in terms of actual engineering and what the console can do and what the game will be able to do. For me, for instance, I've mentioned before that for some of these games, I may get the PS4 version first and then get a PS5 later and upgrade it. That was more so for stuff like RIMS or Test Drive 3. For Gran Turismo, I probably wouldn't do that, to be honest. Even if it's on the PS4, I think I would just go for the PS5, because if I'm talking about the game in the capacity of a reviewer here on YouTube, it kind of needs to be the full representation of that game. But what I will say for you guys is that if it does come out on both consoles, I would probably buy the PS4 version as well, to see if there are differences, and to give those of you who don't want to buy a PS5, or who aren't in that position to do so, more of an insight into what the differences are, and if it's worth buying an entire console, potentially just for those advantages. So, of course, stick around on the channel for more news related to GT7, and we do, of course, up the Gran Turismo content as well, for the older games all the way up to sport. And as I said, check out the other video regarding the new car coming pretty soon to GT Sport as well. But that's it for this vid. Of course, I will see you next time. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.